we are going to seal our tumblers that we had done um, with the hydro dipping last in our last week's video. Um, you'll see a list there of what we used. Uh, also, we have a Facebook group, uh, Crafting with Crafty Mom. Crafty Mom. Um, see, I have my cup. We have fresh blue tape around it to protect the lip from the reason I have found sitting it on top of a plastic cup gives you something not only to hold, but this way it can drip down easily and run off. Um, just makes it easier. I've already mixed up our high gloss reason and I have it in this here so it's all ready to go and I didn't have to sit here and stir, stir, stir while y'all were while we were on the camera. Okay. You can, some people, I have done it both. You can put it, this is just a foam brush and you're just going to be brushing it on gently. Just kind of evenly coat it. Um, you can pour it on and smooth it out with your gloves, but this is very, very sticky. And it reminds me of maple syrup kind of sticky it's not um it's really thick but this way it seals all your colors makes it waterproof therefore you're protecting whatever paint you have put on paint or your vinyl decals um like we did on can cozies with our flip-flops i have sealed those in the same way you do want to wear gloves. This stuff is very sticky. Um, and I just keep rotating this around by the aluminum pie plate just because with it sitting in it, it's just the easiest way to do that. This way you're getting a nice even coat. And it's going to take a better part of a day to become non-sticky. Depending on where you are, how warm it is. Um, humidity. Probably humidity is the cameraman just. But trying to make sure that when you're doing your strokes, that you're trying to be careful and not make uh, air bubbles. That's the reason I said you want to do it in a smooth stroke. And I have a glass tumbler that I got in the food section with the measuring cups to do this in. Um, and I won't mix anything else in this. Only it takes very, very little of a sealer to um, seal stuff. And you're mixing equal parts. And I just used a half an ounce of each. And there is still plenty in my little cup here. I don't know if the cameraman can see that or not. I don't too well, but that's what's left of. I still have about, uh, I think about half an ounce of what I mixed up. So, or half an ounce. So, I mean, but half an ounce is really the only the lowest thing measurement wise on my cup. And. There you have it. It is all sealed. And you'll just leave it there to dry. The thing with the seal, once you've used a foam brush, you can't get it clean. That's the reason I use just the cheap foam brushes to do it. Some people put it on it and then work it down with your gloves. I've not ever done that. You could do that, but it's not really my thing. But everyone, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.